guys welcome back to my channel Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial in today's episode I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute adult size beanie you could also make it in child size too but I've made it in adult size and I made it to the extra large size um, you could even add a pom-pom or puff at the top if you really wanted to so crochet along with me and stay tuned because this is what we're gonna be making today to make this beanie what we need is we're going to need our nine millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a measuring tape. And of course you're going to need yarn. So I'm using this hometown uh, yarn by um, Lines Brand Yarns. And the colors I'm using are, I'm using this Dallas Gray. And then I'm also using um, this navy color. And th it's the same kind of yarn. It's the hometown Lion Brand Yarn. So I'm also using this, um, navy color it's san diego navy is the specific name of this i'll put my affiliate link below so you can see exactly what i'm using and um it requires a nine millimeter crochet hook is which is what we're using you're going to need your scissors and you're going to need a size chart and i'm going to make the adult um large here so i'm going to make this um 6.75 inches as the uh diameter there and then I'm going to need it to be about eight inches long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with making a magic ring and I'm going to do um, eight half double crochets in that magic ring so I'm just going to chain one and then do eight half double crochets in the magic ring and if you don't know how to do a magic ring um, I'll put my video in the description below so you can um, figure that out but if you don't want to do it you could just chain two and then do eight half double crochets in the um, first chain that you made and then you slip stitch into that first half double crochet that you made I like this because it's a tighter stitch and um, it's really easy to work this stitch so after I make my eight half double crochets in the magic ring I'm just going to pull it tight and then I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch that I made. And um, this round will end up having eight half double crochets total. So now I'm just pulling it tight here. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch that I made. I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to do two half double crochets in each stitch so in each stitch here there will be two half double crochets and that will end up being 16 total stitches for this row so I'll have 16 total stitches here And again, I'm making the adult size. You could make a different size if you wanted to. Um, you know, you can follow this and make it really any size that you want, as long as you use that size chart. And the size chart's on my community page, so you can go look at it there. You can print it out um, from my community page. So go grab that off the page so you have it. again I'm just doing two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around I have a little bit of a tendency to crochet tight I'm trying to get better at that especially on stuff like this because it can be a little bit hard to pull the yarn through when you crochet too tight And now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet that I made. I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to make two half double crochets in the first stitch. And then one half double crochet in each additional stitch. And I'm this round is going to end up having a total of 24 stitches. And again, I'm just repeating the pattern all the way around so I'm doing two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch and see my yarn it's a little bit messed up here because I was working on another project and I decided I didn't like what I was doing so I frogged the whole project
Now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet made. Now I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch and then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next two stitches and I'm going to repeat that around so I'm doing two half double crochets in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and at the end of this row I am going to have a total of 32 stitches total Again, I'm just going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet I made. I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to measure it. I just want to see how big it's getting. I know it's not quite big enough yet, but I just want to see how big it's getting. I'm getting there. I may only have about one more round to go or so. So here, now I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first three stitches. And then I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. I'm going to repeat this pattern around now. So one half double crochet in the next three stitches and then two double crochet or half double crochets in the next stitch. And the total on this row will be 40 half double crochets. So you'll have a total of 40 half double crochets on this row. And again, we're doing one half double crochet in the first three stitches of the next three stitches and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. And you just repeat that around until you get to the very first stitch that you made. And then after you get to the very first half double crochet you made, you're going to do what you've been doing, which is just slip stitch in that first half double crochet and chain one. And now I'm going to measure it again. So, I mean, that's pretty close, really. I mean, that's a, almost six and a half. So if I do another row, it's going to be way too big. And I don't really want it to be too big. And I'm just measuring there how much, how big one row is. So you know what? This is going to stretch. So I can take my hands. I can stretch it out pretty good one way or the other. So you know what? I think I'm good with this. This is definitely going to be big enough. It stretches big enough. So here you can see how it stretched. So it stretches big enough. So I'm satisfied with this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep working around the hat and I'm going to do one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'm going to continue to do this now. So I'm going to continue one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around until I get to about five inches. And then when I get to five inches, I'm going to color change to my silver. So here I'm just half double crocheting all the way around until I get to that five inches. And guys, if you're liking watching this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out. And I have 
tons of tons of really fun videos out right now and i have a whole bunch of stuff coming i have stuff coming for christmas and then of course i have all my halloween stuff right right now so i've got my oogie boogie and my jack skellington so i have lots of halloween stuff or just those are just fun to wear around too but um these these i really wanted to make this beanie um to keep you warm um one of my friends is going to a football game and she wanted me to make her a beanie so i made her kind of a Kind of a fun crazy beanie and then i was thinking so what could i make maybe for somebody else that was going somebody that just wanted something that's going to be warm um keep their head warm but also maybe the um, colors of their favorite team so this is kind of what i came up for that that was the inspiration that i was using for this and i think it came out really really great let me know what you think in the comments though do you like it So now I'm going to measure, see where I'm at, and oh yeah, I'm right at five inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color change now. So I'm going to do my slip stitch, and then I'm going to make my color change the silver. I'm just going to pull the silver through those two stitches. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to do the same thing as I was doing before and I'm not going to cut that blue right now as you see because I'm going to color change back to is and I really don't want to weave in more in so there's no reason to uh, cut it so one half double crochet in each of the stitches around and then I'm going to um, just slip stitch to the first stitch made and I'm going to repeat this process for three rows so I'm going to have three rows total of the silver and then after that, I'm going to color change back to my blue.
Now I'm finished and I just slip stitched that first stitch that I made and now I'm going to pull through my blue. So I'm going to chain one and again I'm just going to do one half double crochet all the way around and I'm going to continue to do this now for another three rows. So I'm going to do three rows of half double crochet all the way around. I'm not doing any kind of increases or decreases, just one half double crochet all the way around. And I'm going to um, slip stitch, when I get all the way back around, I'm gonna slip stitch to that first half double crochet made. And then I'm going to chain one and, uh, and do my other rows. And I'm gonna, again, do this for a total of three rows. And after that, I'm going to change back to my silver color. I'm about done here with my blue, so I'm just slip stitching to that 
um, first that I made on that round and now I'm going to um, cut my blue yarn so I am completely done with my blue yarn now so I'm just going to cut that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull through that silver yarn and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to make one single crochet in each of those stitches all the way around. So again, I'm just making one single crochet all the way around in each of those stitches. And then when I get back to the first single crochet I made, I'm going to um, slip stitch into that stitch. And then I'm going to um, cut my silver yarn and then I'm going to weave in all my ends. And then after that, we will be done, folks. Now one thing to note is I ended up deciding here instead of weaving that blue in that I was just going to crochet right over it. It really blends in well because it's um, the blue on the uh, on the part of the beanie there. So it really, really blends in well. So I decided, you know what, I don't think I'm going to weave that end in. I think I'm just going to, I left it long, I'm going to crochet right over that end. And then when I get to the very end, I'm just going to clip over it or clip off the little part there that um, didn't get crocheted over at that very end. So now I'm just cutting off that one part and now I'm going to flip my beanie inside out and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave in these ends here. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to weave in all of these ends and I should have, I wish I would have left that one longer so I could actually use my yarn needle because I would much, much rather weave in ends using my yarn needle than I would a crochet hook. So I, I grabbed the smaller crochet hook because it's easier if you grab a smaller one to work through the uh, through all those little holes in your crochet work. And I'm just doing this in and out, back and forth. You definitely go over the ones that you've already gone over. And again, just weave it in and out, back and forth. And honestly, I cut that one a little too small because it's sticking out at the front. So I'm going to pull that through the back again right there. And now with this one, I did leave this one it's long so I left it quite long so I'm going to uh, just use my crochet needle there and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a knot in it and the reason I'm going to put a knot in it is because I want to make sure that magic circle stays super super tight always so that's the first thing I'm doing is just putting a really tight knot in that and now I am going to weave it in a little bit so I'm just going to go back and forth here weaving it in just a little bit go over the stitches that you've already went over that way it sets it in place really well and after that I'm just going to clip that top off and then I'm going to do kind of the same thing for this gray so I'm um, attaching my yarn needle here and sometimes it can be hard with this big yarn um, I'm sure there's other yarn needles I could get so I'm weaving that in through the back and now I'm going up to that other gray part but I'm just working in those back stitches and here I just decided hey you know it'd be great to tie this also just to make it super super secure and now again I'm just going through those back stitches so you, you just go through some stitches at the back so you don't see this on the front and now I'm going at weird angles so I'm going in and out of the back stitches going in at weird angles and just kind of working my way around that and the reason I'm doing it like that is um really so it won't come out. So here I'm going to tie a knot in it. So I did tie a little knot, but my um, yarn needle came out. So here I'm just making another knot, securing that, and then I'm going to clip off that end. And then you turn it over and there you have it, guys. There is your really cute, warm, beginner friendly super easy beanie i hope you love this this i just love it i think it's super cute it came out right at the size i wanted eight inches um i hope everything works out for you guys too let me know in the comments everyone um and happy hooking everyone thanks for watching